we got reports of a Decepticon fugitive who's, who's got some hostages. We're going to go and investigate. Okay, let's go. Flashlight time. Okay, here we go. It's down the there. Underbelly of Spider Central. And, oh, okay. Let's go down there. It's a security light coming on. Okay, let's look around and see if we can find him. We don't know who this Decepticon is, but we've heard that he's got hostages. We're gonna go down and investigate. Oh, look at Shockwave. He's got, oh my gosh, he's getting ready to shoot Ice Bear. Shockwave, you're under arrest. Shockwave, you're under arrest. Okay guys, here we are with the Voyager class Shockwave from Transformers Prime. So we apprehended this particular suspect uh, in Spider Central down in the dungeon and um, we had to stop him from um, from shooting ice bears so he, uh, he, uh, he got shot himself a couple times so that's why he's laying down right now in his jail cell. So. You. You won't get away from this. <laughs> yes, we're going to review him. That'll teach him a lesson. He's got, so Shockwave had, I think, the second most powerful weapon in the uh, Transformers series. Uh, Megatron's cannon is the first most powerful, and then I think Shockwave is the second. Um, or possibly a third. Optimus might have had one as well. But you can see there he's got, he's got, uh, it's got kind of a uh, mechanism there to, to actually shoot, which is really, really cool. Let's take him. So he's he's another, uh, his vehicle mode, as you guys will see shortly, is another one. This, this is where I electric him, in his system. In his system, okay. This is another heavily, heavily stylized tank. It's more of a Cybertronian tank, like Megatronus is. Um, <laughs> Like Megatronus is that uh, somebody say my name. Um, so it's not like a like a Earth tank. It's it's a like I said. It's a Cybertronian stylized one, uh, like Megatronus. You call me crazy. Never know who's gonna show up in these videos. Oh my god! It's, it's his system's electric, so we can teach him the lesson. I really like his color. I can electric you too. You oh man, he's transformer dancing. Oh. All right, so the transformation here is not a particularly complex one. Okay, and through the magic of magic, we have just gone right to uh, vehicle mode um, because there's a couple of little tricky things with this guy. But once you get it, it's, so there is, well, you can see, yeah, you can just fire him in tank mode forever and ever and ever. And he's, in vehicle mode, he's, um, you know, let's turn him this way so they can see him. He's, he's kind of, he's, he's okay. He's, uh, like I said, heavily, heavily stylized um, as far as the tank goes. Um, and there's not... You can make him an airplane. <laughs> yeah. There's not a whole ton to this guy, but you can pop his joints really, really easily, as Leo just showed you, uh, taking his cannon off. Um, we're, we're transforming him into an airplane. And as far as he's been... he's We've had him for a while also, so it's just a lot of the stuff is worn out now. And so in some cases, it's actually easier to transform it and then plug his uh, parts back in than it is to try to transform with them all still attached. Um, and that's just the, the plastic wearing and so on. So, see, putting it back into robot mode is not. No, it's not. I can turn no, it transform into airplane mode is not, not especially drawn out process either. Uh, with the Voyager class, as big and as long as extended as they are, you can do quite a few different things with them. Um, it's like Leo is showing you. I've never seen an airplane with tank treads before, but yeah, that's kind of cool. And here's the air supplies in here. Yeah, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. They got some little wings in there and everything, right? This, this is the kill... The what? Kill, kill some Autobots with oh. this, but we're not going to yeah. put this on the actual airplane transformation. Yeah, there's this cannon. 
Now actually here, I'll give you a close up of this. Uh, we could slow it down, I guess, in slow-mo, but instead we'll just, I'll just show you here. So it just snaps apart and there's the red uh, glowing object in there. It, this will catch light at times, but um, it's a and really it cool like weapon. It and, it, and it works really well. Like it's it's a strong it's a strong weapon. We've had it for a while, so in fact you can so do this. how to transform it back into tank mode is doing this. Okay. We're gonna transform it back into tank mode. Since we since I showed you the airplane mode, here's the tank. And the, the notches that we have to plug in. Yeah, plugging in the notches is actually the easiest thing. Although this one is again pretty worn down, so it doesn't work super super well. But it does. It will help you hold it in place uh, and keep the correct shape for um, for the shock wave for the front uh, front axles, I guess. Whatever his legs become, as far as the tank mood goes. So there you go, it'll look like that when you get done. Which is actually kind of reminds me of like a lion laying down, you know, in the grass or something. But And then we just mount the, the cannon right on top. You can plug the shoulder joint back in. I'll show you that part during the close-ups. Uh, but that's it, that, there he is. And then he, I, I'm going to transform him. back into airplane mode. Okay. So you didn't see how we can do that. Okay. Got some airbags in there. Look at the airplane mode. Okay, there he is. If you want to see what he looks like in airplane mood. And you want to put him back into robot mood? Okay, so now that we have this folder, we need to get this out here. Do it, do it. Okay, he's got his arm loose. It just doesn't want to stay not. It doesn't want to stay not moving. It wants to stay moving. Okay. It came with some battle armor we forgot. Yeah, the battle armor is goofy. So. Um, I don't think either one of us liked the battle armor especially, so that kind of went away. Uh, but it, does, it comes with this kind of red rubbery plasticky junk that you can put on there if you want to. Uh, if you buy the figure you can just keep that. I think we probably have one or two of those pieces somewhere, probably in our parts bin, but we don't ever use them for anything. So, Okay, and there you go. And there's the back of him. He looks okay in the back. Oops, but let's switch the arms. Oh, you can, yes, you can switch the arms too. The ball joints are the same. He will not transform correctly, however, if you switch the arms. And nor will he be accurate to the show. You can see that we're going to switch it back where it was before. Is this arm here before? Mm hmm. Oh, I don't want me to plug in anymore. So I'm just going to show you guys real quick what I just told. So if you plug this in, the open space has to face the back of his body. So you can see there's an open space right here in this one. See right there? Okay, that has to face, when you plug it in, it has to face the back of his body. So plug it in like so and just push it in and there you go. So you can see can both those the open spaces are in the back. Okay, so in this cell, time for him to get feeded. And there you are in robot mode. Okay guys, and as you can see, he is heavily, heavily stylized. Maybe he's catching the light a little bit. Um, let's see here. He's shy, you can, you can light him. You can light his eye up, you can see that. Get that sort of effect on there. Um, and you can see this front chest plate, he's got a lot of the electronic gadgetry. There's some of the red circles and so on here. And there he is. He stands pretty well, as you can see. And we got some new recruits who want to watch. Okay, all right. We got some guests here. We got a utility vehicle and a John Deere lawnmower. Very awesome. And okay, guess so what from the side, from the base, this is a good looking figure. It's a really, really good looking figure. I like this guy a lot. This is actually one of my favorite from the entire uh, Prime series. 
both the cartoon figure and the uh, the um, the uh, robot here in the Voyager class. So to transform him, pull the chest plate, and from there put his legs out like so. And I'll show you what we're gonna do with that in just a second. From here, we can pull out the chest plates, pull out the chest plates like so, and pull out his track in the back and slide that out. So that part is done. This is the actual back track that's completely finished. Um, and from here, what we do is spin around, turn it, flip it over, and you're just gonna spin this over. So you can see where this fits, right? So this part just fits right in there. And then from there, we just plug this square peg into the hole like so, and that part is done. I think that would be really uncomfortable to ride around like that, but um, you know, there you go. So anyway, back in there, you might need to plug that back in a couple times. Okay, from here, you can see there is some notches, right? Some notches here, and here are some, some, guide, some guide areas. So what you wanna do is plug this in like so into these and this will keep his orientation correct uh, through it once you get the um, once you get the legs in shape so let's plug one of these sides in Oops. maybe a bit tricky going at first Oops. okay so it's easier if you can notch them both in at once Okay, and once you've got them notched, not, once you got them notched in like so, just slide it back until it won't go any further, and that will help keep him in order. And then all you're doing is just folding this over. So same thing over here. Turn it, and then just fold it straight like this. And you can see that one's already come loose. So we'll just pop it back in there. Pop this side back in there as well. Okay. All right. And then the feet. Just slide those forward. Actually, that one already is. So this one, we'll just, we'll just slide it forward like so. Okay, and there he is. Um, oh, the gun. So the gun is, this joint doesn't stay particularly well on our figure here. So the idea would be here that you plug this into this part down there. Um, however, we find it to be, we'll try it here. Um, just fold that over and then so you just basically are folding this around right start here and then fold this part so it's up there and just plug it in like so but that joint likes to pop so what we find a lot of time to be easier is to do what I just did to convert it and then just uh, plug it in after the fact so there you go there he is in in uh, vehicle mood, see it's heavy, heavy, heavy style, style stylized. Uh, you can see the bottom part has already come out. So this has been a really well worked one. Uh, and then to untransform him, you're just basically undoing what you just did. So do the gun, come in the back, undo his arm, fold this down. Okay, so there you have this mostly done. Spin his head back around so we can see what he's doing. Fold this up and in. This one also up and in. And then put his chest plate up, which will unlock his legs, from which point you can just do spin back around like so. And slide his feet back up. go like so there is a certain amount of rotation in the joints that you'll have to do to get him to be uh, to be registered correctly but once you got him there you go he stands well he looks down at all the citizens and gets ready to do stuff and he's not anywhere near as cool as I am all right make it us. <laughs> so anyway there you go there's the review oh the silly card just ran into shockwave very, very cool figure. That Voyager class Shockwave from Prime is a must. Definitely encourage anyone to get that. It is spectacular. It works well. 
Um, the joints take a little bit of getting used to. They're all ratchet joints and then they're a little bit stiff. Uh, in vehicle mode, I don't like them at all. Unlike uh, Megatronus. Hey, don't do that to me! Uh, unlike Megatronus who, look at this, he's kickapooing! Oh, he's gonna spin around like a ballerina. Okay, so unlike Megatronus who looks good in both modes, Shockwave is best suited as a robot, but definitely well worth your while to get that figure. He's fantastic. Okay, and as always, we thank you guys for coming by, and we would certainly love it if you could give us a big old fat thumbs up and hit the red subscribe button, and we will see you all next time. What? Maybe I'll be seeing you next time, too. Maybe you will, Megatronus. Me, me too. <laughs> Maybe Shockwave too. Alright guys, we'll see you later. Bye-bye.